Hi guys, so I'm super excited to be filming today's video because I'm going to be sharing with you everything that I ordered on Beautylish. I ordered this probably about a week ago and it arrived yesterday um, and as soon as I got it I was like I need to film a haul because this is a massive haul. Like I'm going to tell you guys, I'm just going to be totally honest, I haven't bought makeup in a really long time and let's just say I made up for it. I absolutely made up for it. This is about, I think it was roughly about $1,000, um, give or take, because once it's converted to uh, like Australian dollars, it literally came up to like $1,000. So I know you, some of you may think that's ridiculous, but I actually haven't purchased makeup in a really long time. So I definitely did some freaking damage. The thing that I love about Beautylish so much is that it is so quick. Their shipping is so fast. And especially if you live in Australia, like literally anything that comes from anywhere takes like four weeks to like six weeks. So this took like a week and I was so impressed and everything came so beautifully packaged like it always does. I always order off Beautylish all the time. Um, so I'm so excited to share with you guys what I got. There are some amazing products in here. I've got some Natasha Denona, some Jouer, some Anastasia Beverly Hills. Like I have got a lot and some Becca. Like I have some really amazing high-end brands in here. So Okay, so I'm going to stop talking. Um, please follow me on Instagram if you want to. It's at Demi.Rolling and my Snapchat is Demi.Rolling. I think Snapchat is like where you see the real of everyone. So I hope that you guys enjoy this video and let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing that I got was the original Beauty Blender and I actually got two of them, but I already opened it and used it guilty because I love the original Beauty Blender. Like I have to admit it, as much as I love finding like dupes to the Beauty Blender because it is so freaking expensive. Like I honestly don't love spending that much money on a sponge, but there is something about the original one, the original Beauty Blender that just performs better than any other sponge that I've ever found. I think it's the texture, all of the like elements in a sponge, it just performs the best. I mean, I do love my Eco Tool sponge, it's on my desk, I use it all the time. As much as I love the Eco Tool sponge, I did kind of just want to repurchase the Beauty Blender because I have missed it a little bit, you know? Um, so I did end up getting two of them. Okay, so next up, I got two of the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Brow Wears, and I use the shade Medium Brown. And as much as I do love finding dupes, like I've already said, I have actually found like a perfect dupe for the brow is it's this brand called Holika Holika um skinny brow or something like that it's from it's like a korean brand and that is like the closest dupe that i've ever found to the brow is it is amazing but i did want to get the brow is in medium brown because the undertone of this color is perfect for my eyebrows the shade medium brown there's something about it that suits my eyebrows so well it's like the perfect undertone it's not too warm or too like cool but i absolutely love it so i did want to get two of the Anastasia Browers just to stock up on them. I go through brow pencils so quickly for some reason. Actually, no, I think everybody does. So I got two in the shade medium brown. Okay, so next up, I got a primer from Becca. This is their first, not back, first light priming filter because if you watch my channel, if you watch my channel, you'll know that the backlight priming filter is my ultimate favorite primer ever. I love it so much, but I really wanted to try this because I will open it up and show you. Okay, so this is what the packaging looks like and it's exactly the same as the backlight priming filter except this is like purple, which I thought was really interesting and I thought it would be really handy if you had like any redness or discoloration that you needed to correct it with the purple kind of undertone that it must have in it. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to trying this so this next product I have wanted for so long like I don't know why it's taken me till now to buy it because I'm not gonna lie I can't lie to you guys I have actually tried this I tried it as soon as I got it this package yesterday I opened it up and this was something that I desperately wanted to try um, so this is the RCMA uh, like foundation concealer palette and I have seen so many professional makeup artists use this so it comes with all different kind of shades and colors and undertones and oh my god you guys I can give you a little bit of a review a review I love this like I have to be honest I didn't know what to expect when I was like getting it because I wasn't I don't know I just wasn't sure I'm so used to like liquid foundations that you pump out and put on your face that I wasn't sure if I was gonna like using something like this I love it the finish of this foundation is so beautiful it looks it's full coverage like it is full coverage as hell it's like medium full coverage foundation but it has this kind of natural look to it like you can continue to build it and it's not going to look cakey it doesn't look heavy it literally looks like your skin but like just beautiful and the thing that I love as well you can combine the different colors um, to kind of get your undertone and your color like the perfect color for your skin so I'm obsessed with this I am I think this is great if you're a working makeup artist. Um, it's great for bridal, bridal looks, like anything like that. But I am obsessed with this foundation. Like, 
I think this is going to be one of my favorites now. Um, so that is the RCMA foundation palette. Okay, so the next product is a repurchase, so I can quickly tell you a little bit about it. This is the Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector, and it's basically just a little peach tone corrector. And if you guys, oh my god, it's like stuck in the box, hold on. Hold please. Okay, so it comes in a little jar like this, and it's basically just a peach tone corrector. Um, and the thing that I love about this formula is that it's it's got like really, really, really fine, like a reflective sort of shimmer in it. And I think that that's why it's so good at brightening and bringing any like, you know, dark circles forward. So I just absolutely love this formula. It doesn't crease. It just does everything that you want a corrector to do, in my opinion. So I'm obsessed with this, and I will repurchase this again when I run out of this one, because I totally, like, there wasn't even a little tiny drop left in my last one so I love this so much this is the Becca under eye brightening corrector okay, so next up I got the it cosmetics bye bye under eye because I have heard so many good things about this product and the reason the person that like pushed me over the edge to get it is Katie at Lust Lux or at Katie now I've seen her use it like at the very beginning of her tutorials so, like you know cover up the eye bags and oh my god it does such a good job on her that I was like I need this in my life and I can't lie I used this yesterday I tried out tested a few things yesterday not everything, just a few things, and oh my god, this is the most full coverage intense concealer that I have used in my entire life. Like, I'm not used to concealers like that, like, I'm, I'm, like, jammed with the Maybelline Fit Me, Urban Decay Naked, like, you know, that sort of thing. This is totally the opposite, but I do really like it. Like, I can't lie, this is really good, and I am really happy that I purchased this. It is very thick, like, its consistency is super thick, and you don't need a lot, because that was the mistake that I made when I first used it, obviously, because I'm not used to this. I pumped out, you know, like, a small amount for concealer, but it was so much, like, it was so much under the eye, but it is actually really good concealer if you use it correctly, and oh my god, like, you guys don't, like, you can't see it now, obviously, but I have really dark blue, like, circles around, like, this area, and this covers it all up like I was so surprised so I'm gonna use this when I do like full glam looks and stuff like that probably not an everyday concealer for me but this was incredible like the coverage I'm not used to full coverage things but I love this so much and it didn't crease too much either it didn't look cakey it was a good consistency they've I think that they've nailed this concealer so that is the it cosmetics bye bye under eye and I love it okay so next up I don't really need to say much about these RCMA No Color Powder. You guys know I love this powder so much and I was so sad when I ran out of it because I'm not going to lie, like I have never found another setting powder that I love as much as this. I do really like a Korean brand one called Innisfree No Sebum Powder. I really like that powder, but still the RCMA, there's something that I love like so much about it. I hate Laura Mercier translucent powder. I really don't like that at all. I love this powder so much so I definitely wanted to get two of them. There's something about this powder that I love the way that it looks it doesn't look cakey it doesn't look heavy it doesn't give flashback like there's something about it and it makes your skin look like poreless so that is the RCMA, RCMA no color powder and I would recommend this to absolutely everyone dry skin oily skin boy girl teenager or adult like I would recommend this to everyone I love this powder okay so next up I got another product by E Cosmetics and this is their bye bye pores pressed powder and I got this because I saw Kathleen lights talking about it ages ago um, and I have a really hard time like finding powders that I love like like clearly like the RCMA powder is the only powder that I like on my face like with when I'm doing clients I can use other powders like I can use the Laura Mercier but on myself I can literally only use that RCMA powder everything else just looks cakey and gross and heavy so Kathleen Lights I usually like a lot of her recommendations and she recommended the um, Bye Bye Pores by Cosmetics so I really want to give it a try she said it's really finely milled it's very soft and it's and I have actually touched it and it does feel very soft there's no like you know kick up or anything like that it just feels like a really soft like buttery powder so I'm really excited to try that and I love the packaging as well it's super sturdy okay so if you're a local on my channel you know I was um struggling last week with my eyeliner I literally had to put rosehip oil in my Inglot gel liner because it was so stiff it was my fault like that eyeliner was dead like I I needed to throw it out but I had no other like gel liner to use so finally I got another Inglot gel liner in 77 and you guys are gonna be proud of me I actually bought the proper thing that you're supposed to put in it which is Duraline and this is great if you need to soften any kind of liquid product up or anything like that so I got Duraline plus Inglot gel liner in 77 it's just a really good gel liner like it's really black it dries down to like a matte finish it's really easy to use so if you want a good gel liner I would 100% recommend the Inglot one because it is really affordable as well. Okay, so next up I actually got two eyeshadow palettes that I want to tell you guys about. The first one 
is my favourite. You guys already know this if you watch my channel and I think that I talk about it a little bit too much. Like I'm not surprised that like if you guys would be sick of it by now. But Viseart is my favourite brand of eyeshadows in the entire world. Like their matte shadows are unbeatable. In my opinion, they are unbeatable. They're, the formula is so weird, but it's so unique to anything that I've ever tried. Mostly when you feel like a good eyeshadow, it's very buttery and creamy and soft. And yes, those eyeshadows are really good, but the like texture of this is so weird. It almost feels like dry and kind of chalky, but it's super pigmented when you put it on your eye with a brush. Like That's how you know when an eyeshadow performs really well is with a brush. And these perform incredibly. And this time I got the warm matte palette which oh my god I am so inspired when I look at this palette and I feel like I needed something like this like this just looks so beautiful it looks like a sunset it's just got all warm colors and I'm just obsessed with it so you guys are definitely going to see some looks of this because I'm so excited um and also I know that the price is a lot but trust me these are worth the price like I know that the price is insane they are around like for me in Australian dollars it's like $98 for this small little palette but the, I think it's worth it I think if you save up and try these shadows you will not regret it and the other eyeshadow palette I'm not gonna lie this hurt to buy this because it was really freaking expensive this is the Natasha Denona star palette and oh my god like I'm not gonna lie I have used this yesterday the, uh, these eyeshadows are absolutely incredible and I know when I like went to press like purchase I almost cried because it is insane how much these are but they are so worth it as well and in my opinion like I've already got some of her little quads I have three of her like little five eyeshadow quads so I do like know what the quality of her eyeshadows are like but this is my first big palette from Natasha Denona and oh my god are you serious these colors are so beautiful and they've got like a warm side and a cool side and I'm just so excited to start playing with these. I feel like investing money on an eyeshadow palette is always going to be worth it. So the Natasha Denona Star Palette in my opinion is totally worth it and I'm just I'm just in love with it and I do really love the packaging as well like it feels really like I'm going to sleep with this. Okay so next up I got a bronzer by Becca and this is their Sunlit Bronzer and I got it in the shade Barley Sands because I had heard so many good things about this bronzer and I have a really like weird problem like I can't find a bronzer that I really like. The only one recently that I really really like and I feel like the undertone is really good for me is the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. Like I have it on my face today. I just feel like it's not too warm, it's not too cool, it's perfect but this is amazing like I feel like this is gonna be my new holy grail bronzer this is beautiful the formula the color everything about this bronzer is amazing and I feel like this is the perfect shade for medium like light medium skin tones so that is the Becca sunlit bronzer in Bali Sands okay so next up I got another Natasha Denona product I know I know her products are very very expensive but in my opinion they're worth it like she's an incredible makeup artist and she obviously knows what she's doing when it comes to formulating makeup because everything that I've tried from hers at the moment I am totally and completely in love with and this is one of her blush duos I absolutely love this and I do really love the packaging like it's super cute and it comes in like a little I always feel like I'm gonna pull like a cigarette out of there even though I don't smoke I just feel like it's one of those you know okay so this is the blush duo in number nine and it's like more of the peachy kind of colors so I have used this one you guys and oh my god it is so beautiful on the cheeks like when I immediately thought of it and like looked at it it kind of looked like MAC peaches which I love MAC peaches this is nice though. like I'm not gonna lie I like this a lot better there's something about the formula as well there's no there's like zero kickback with this formula no kickback whatsoever it is amazing and very long lasting as well so I'm super impressed with this and I really do want to get like a few more of her little blush duos because I don't know, I'm just, I love Natasha Denona products and if I want to spend money on a high-end brand, it's going to be Natasha Denona. So that is the blush duo in the number nine. Okay, so next up, I am so excited about these products because I think some of you will be surprised I haven't actually owned any of these before. I got some Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kits. I got the shade Sun Dipped and Moon Child, I think. Yeah, Moon Child. And oh my god. I now understand the hype with these like highlight palettes because holy crap, I used this on my face yesterday and the highlight was insane. Like even my mum mentioned it to me, which she doesn't really notice highlights that much, but she was like, holy crap, that highlight is intense. Like I was like, I know. So this is what the palette looks like. And I used yesterday the shade Moonstone up here, which definitely Moonstone is probably my favorite in this palette. And then also Summer. And this will be like a beautiful bronzer topper as well. But I'll swatch Summer here for you. 
it's just oh they're so beautiful and then the other one that I got is Moonchild and I have heard some really good things about this one as well um, and this has obviously like more of like the kind of like colorful sort of highlights in which I'm a bit weird like I really enjoy using like colorful kind of highlights like I love purple highlights and peach highlights so I'm super excited to give this one a try out I haven't actually swatched any of these okay so I'm gonna give a few of them a swatch because I've never swatched them before so let's just go Oh my god, I am dead. Oh my god, do you see that? Okay, so they are the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kids in Sun Dipped and Moonchild. Okay, so if you thought that the highlighters stopped there, then you clearly don't know me very well. I also got two highlighters by Jouer because I have heard so many incredible things about the brand Jouer. So I definitely wanted to try something out from them. And I really wanted to try out Citrine Highlighter because I've heard so many good things about that highlighter. So I did end up getting it. This is the Jouer Highlighter in Citrine. And I also got the shade Rose Quartz. And I did try out Citrine and holy crap. Holy crap, this highlighter is intense. Like, I kind of wasn't sure. Like, you know when, like, people rave about something, you're not really sure if it's sponsored or if it's just hype? This is amazing. Like, this highlighter in Citrine is beautiful. Like, oh my god. Wait, do you see that? Let me just give it a little bit of a swatch for you. It is the most beautiful color, and it is so freaking intense like this is an intense highlighter and I didn't expect it to be as intense as it is and the other one that I got is in the shade rose quartz because I can't remember who I was watching on YouTube I can't remember it was a tutorial and this girl was raving about rose quartz and saying how like beautiful it is on the skin and it's very good for like light medium skin tones as well um so I'm super excited to try this one out so they are the Jouer highlighters in citrine and rose quartz okay and the final highlighter that I got is again by Natasha Denona because because I love her so much. I love her. Um, and this is her All Over Glow, which I love the packaging as well for this. So basically, it's just a beautiful highlighter inside. And I did actually swatch this. I haven't tried it on my skin yet, but this one seems a little bit more of that beautiful kind of glow. It doesn't look as intense as like the Glow Kids or Citrine was. This was a little bit more like of a subtle glow, but still a glow, if that makes any sense. Um, so I'm super excited to try this. I feel like this is gonna be one of my favorites for sure, because Sometimes, like, in the day-to-day -day life, I don't go for that blinding highlight. Like, I don't go for a intense, like, foiled metallic highlight. I'll do something more like this. So I'm super excited to try this. So that is the Natasha Denona All Over Glow in the shade Light. Okay, my final makeup product that I got, because I did get a few skincare things. I'm going to show you guys after. But my final makeup product that I got was a lipstick by no other than Charlotte Tilbury. Charlotte Tilbury is definitely a brand that I would love to own everything from her line. But they're just so expensive. Like, I love her um, highlight and her little highlighting kit thing. Wait, what is it called? Film Star Bronze and Glow, that's right. I love a lot of her products, but they're so expensive that I kind of have to like save up just to buy a freaking one. So of course I had to get the shade that everyone was talking about for so long. This is the shade Kim KW, I think. Yeah, Kim KW. And it comes in this beautiful kind of vintage packaging. I love this sort of packaging. Like I love anything like a vintage. And this, oh my God, I swatched it, is the most perfect, beautiful nude. I actually will swatch it on the back of my hand for you guys. It is the most beautiful nude that I have ever seen. Oh my God. And the formula, it's very pigmented, it's super creamy and buttery and it smells so amazing. So I definitely, if I wish, if I could, I would love to get more Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. Um, but I love this shade as well. This is in Kim KW. Okay, and lastly, I did get just, just a little bit of skincare because if you guys know me, I'm very passionate about skincare. Like I love skincare, I love learning about skincare. I like trying new things, but I feel like skincare is something that you can't really tell if you're gonna love it straight away. But I've been hearing so many incredible things about the brand The Ordinary. So I really wanted to try a few things. So I got three different kind of little like liquids from The Ordinary. I got their Advanced Retinoid, which is amazing for anti-aging. And this is the 2% one. I'm super excited to try this because I've never tried any like retinoid, retinol, retinase, like kind of anything like that. I've never tried that. Um, so I'm super excited to see if this actually does anything to my skin. It's just amazing with like anti-aging and elasticity and anti-wrinkle like it's a really incredible treatment um so i got the ordinaries version because i've heard so many good things about this as well i also got the lactic acid 10 percent and the hyaluronic acid 2 percent hyaluronic acid is amazing at retaining water so it's going to make your skin super plump super like bouncy and youthful and it's going to hold on to all the moisture in your skin so i love hyaluronic acid as an ingredient it's an incredible ingredient and then lactic acid is actually a form of ah 
DHA, which is alpha hydroxy acid. Lactic acid is amazing at removing any kind of dead skin cells on the top of your surface and kind of just like lifting them off and making like a new layer of skin, trust me. AHAs are amazing. Like I have this glycolic acid mask, which glycolic acid is a form of AHA. And every time that I use it, my mom is blown away with what my skin like texture looks like. It looks like you've just been born. Like I'm not even gonna lie. It literally looks like you just came out the vajay. Like you look like you've got brand new skin. It's amazing. So I'm super excited to try this. I'm gonna actually try this tonight. This is the one that I haven't tried yet. So this is the lactic acid 10% and the hyaluronic acid 2%. And finally, I've really wanted to try a like squalane before, and this is the 100% plant-derived squalane, which is amazing, just at hydrating, anything like that, so I'm really excited to try this. I actually did kind of test on the back of my hand this morning, um, and I think I'm going to really love this. So if you have dry skin, I would 100% recommend this squalane, because it's really good at hydrating and stuff like that. So they are the products that I got, and I will just quickly throw these in. Beautylish actually like gave me these three things for free. I think it's just because my order was so freaking big like who spends a thousand dollars on an order like I don't know I feel a little bit crazy so they did actually send me these um, I'm just gonna mention them I won't show them because I have no idea what they even are so I can't really tell you guys about them this is by the brand Indie Lee and this is their vanilla citrus moisturizing oil I'm pretty sure that this is just an oil like a face oil and I do really love oils because if you don't know oils are basically just like an extremely concentrated version of a moisturizer I do want to read a little bit more about this just so I have a little bit more knowledge of what I'm gonna put on my skin but it does look really nice um, and then they also sent me two products by the brand I think it's Niod um, and I have heard some incredible things about this brand I've heard some really good things about more of their little like dropping oils and stuff like that but they sent me two of these things I'm not really entirely sure what they are one seems like it might be like a makeup remover and one seems like a cleanser or something like that I don't really want to tell you guys because I don't know about them so yeah they sent me these as well um, so I'm just gonna put them back there Okay, so that was a long asshole. Like, that was a lot of products that I just went through. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I feel like people don't do hauls anymore, which is super weird because I love hauls. Like, I love watching hauls and favorites videos and tutorials, and I feel like nobody does those sort of videos anymore, which is kind of sad. But anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please follow me on Instagram. I'm going to plug it again. It's at Demi.Rolling, and my Snapchat is DemiRolling. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. Uh, thank you, and I will see you soon. Bye.